PSA, Zer has just arrived in Destiny 2 and he's bringing some crazy loot for the final shape. Now he has available Artifice Armor. If you get 79 Strange Coins, you can go to him and straight up just buy Artifice Armor. We've never seen this before. This is actually pretty awesome. If you don't know what Artifice Armor does, basically you can slot in a plus three of any stat that you like. And this week for the Hunters out there is actually a pretty decent stat distribution. We got 63 stats overall, really high discipline, 14 mobility. This is not too bad of a Hunter Helmet if you haven't already got an artifice armor on your hunter not too bad to go to Zer and snag a decent roll i'll pull up the stat rolls for the warlock and titan as well and also Zer has some pretty nice catalysts so for the warlock there you can see this is the artifice army's got a little bit higher on the mobility side and then it's kind of an even stat distribution from the rest of it it's just an okay roll for the warlocks really nothing too impressive i honestly wouldn't go snag that and spend all those strange coins on that for the titans as well we got really high mobility so we'll probably pass on the artifice armor for the titans this week as well but the hunter one's not too bad on top of this though we also have catalyst here that you can now acquire 71 strange coins will get you the acreous catalyst which is actually really really good exotic if you're trying to do the second encounter the herald encounter he gets destroyed by acreous especially because it's arc surge right now so if you don't already have your acreous acquired with the catalyst i would highly recommend to get this it's an excellent option for fighting against him you can also use swords obviously swords are kind of like the go-to but acreous is fun especially when maybe if you don't have a good arc sword for example the next up we have the Mida multi-tool catalyst is here for you this thing is not good at all in the past i think it gave like literally outlaw now we've got aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch it's a little bit better now i suppose after some changes i um, i believe that's a change to the catalyst and so the Mida multi-tool catalyst is there for you but i don't see anyone using that right now in pvp and definitely not using it inside pve you can also alternatively get three vanguard engrams for 31 strange coins this week very interesting if you're wondering where Zer is located he is near aid spicy ramen shop here in the bazaar just be mindful of that now we're gonna go look at all of the weapons that he's got so we got the hawk moon here this week it's gonna be a quick draw roll so not a god roll of the hawk moon this week and then we have the crimson is available for you and then we have merciless which is actually an, a decent exotic for like dps has good special ammo dps potential if you haven't already gotten that and then we have the queen breaker which did get like an overhaul and i believe it like jolt stuff now but it's still not quite as good as it used to be back in the day um back in gambit when it was literally that was the only time it was good i guess i should say it was back in the gambit days if anyone remembers that we have a night watch here this has snapshot sights and multi-kill clip you can get explosive payload and rapid hit here and that's usually the preferred role attack bag's nice though and Shahan used to have a really nice near god roll of that. So then we have the Chroma Rush 720 RPM auto rifle with Thresh and Feeding Frenzy. Not the god roll, and I don't see too many people using that anymore. Truth Teller's here this week with Swashbuckler and Pulse Monitor. We're going to pass on that. The Tarnished Metal is a craftable scout rifle. It's one of the best arc ones in the game. It's got shoot to loot. It has Dragonfly here this week, but you can actually get explosive payload in this slot, and that is best in slot there. The tarnished metals there i would highly recommend crafting that though if you can then we got the outrageous fortune gl with snapshot rampage that's going to be a hard pass and then we have the code duello which has been horrifically power crept by the apex predator i mean this thing literally has unrelenting and surplus on it so that's definitely not it then we have the quick fang here this week we're going to have on the quick fang energy transfer and on guard we'll pass on that and i'll pull up with the uh Warlock sword looks like right here. This is the Eternity's Edge this week if you're interested in snagging that. Nothing crazy though. And then the Titan sword as well for the Crown Splitter. Both of those rolls up there. Neither one are some crazy god rolls from what I can tell. So we'll pass on most of those. The armor for the Warlock and the Titan was also really high mobility. So passing on that. 65, 66 stats. Really good Hunter armor though this week if you're interested in any of this. Make sure to go and snag it from him. 17 strange coins. And that's a wrap on the Zer PSA. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about the Zer rework? And make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the news in Destiny 2. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.